So ifs are pretty standard. So you just have like, you know, if, true, else, whatever, you can chain them if, el, uh, else, if, right? It's pretty standard. The things to know is that, um, or the quirks about this is that this can be, it's like C, so anything that is not zero um, is true. If it's zero, it's false. So if you put a pointer here and the pointer has memory, it's true. If it has no, it's false. And the other thing that they added that is interesting is that if you go, so let's just put here something. So as expected, this should print true, right? But if you have an array, right? You can use this as something to check. So if the array is empty, even though it's something that exists, if it's empty, then it's false. And this actually is pretty, pretty helpful. Uh, like it helps a lot to do this kind of stuff. Like that, you, a lot of times you have to go, does it have any number or whatever? So this is actually pretty, pretty helpful. And something also that I haven't mentioned so far is that there's another type of thing that is an enum. And here you can define like the, t the, the type that it is. It's like C and C++ enum, so you have like definition, right? Uh, oh, I'm already making a mistake, um, right? And oh, another mistake that I'm making. Yeah, yeah, not used to this. So they are terminated like this and this language has no switches I don't know exactly also what's the reason behind that but it has some weird ifs <laughs> so let's say that you have an enum type yeah Let me just go here enum that is um, some enum too cool so you can do this if e equals I need to make sure that I'm not uh, All right you can just go this and now if we run it right it's two and then there's something that you can do so by default right nothing tells you that you need to check all of them but if that's important to you you can just go hashtag complete and now when you try to do it it's going to complain that some are not used so again it's this whole thing that it's like it lets you do whatever you do but whatever you want, but you can force certain things to happen, right? And I also like that the forcing is, um, it, it, it's always in the situation that you want the least, right? Most of the times you just want, no, I just want to compare with something, I don't need it to be complete, but if you know that this is going to be complete and you want to future proof, you can just go, okay, no, there always needs to be a case, right? Well, I'll move to something else. If you have any questions, so moving forward, in terms of loops, we have two things. We have whiles. Again, as far as I know, we have whiles and fours. So. You know, you can just go while. Um, oh, and by the way, you don't need to do this, right? You can, but you don't need to do this. Uh, like put these parentheses, right? Because it just needs an expression. However, this is weird because look, I can just go here. The if is not the while is not a good example, but if I go 
like this, right? This is going to. What did I do? Oh, complete. So this works, and this can get pretty weird. You know, it can be like this, whatever, whatever, you know? And at a certain point, you lose the readability. So I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff. So I would advise, you know, if, <laughs> if you want to do just a one-liner thing, you do this, you know, so that at least it's understandable where things are, or otherwise you just use those curly braces. But basically, like, the language supports that. So, you know, you go through this and you go like this because you're used to C++ and now we try to compile and what's happening, right? It's just eternally zero. So if we comment out this guy, we'll actually notice what's going on. So when we're building, right, because again, because the way we're doing this, we're building and we're also executing as we're building something, yeah? So you don't see it, but when you're compiling, you're going to get this. It's a warning. And it's telling you, look, the operator plus plus does not exist in this language. So it uses twice the operator plus, which plus to zero does nothing, right? So this is what we get. So we need to go, you know, plus equals one. What did I do? Did I kill it? Right? And it works as expected. Um, to be honest, to me, it doesn't affect me that much, even though I'm a plus plus variable name, a uh, very little guy. But I don't know. Maybe some people don't really like it that much. But to me, it's, it's pretty... It's fine. I can live without it. And it, I think it probably removes that ambiguity because some people, you know, like, oh, but I like A++ more than plus plus A, but then sometimes that gives you a different, sometimes, no, it gives you a different output, right? But it may have consequences or not, depending on what you do. So anything regarding this, otherwise, we're just going to go to the for, which is like this. So you have for, you'd say which variable you want to define, and you say the range you want it to be. Okay, so this is going to go from 0 to 4 inclusive, right? So if I just go print i, fail, which makes sense. And now comes the other thing that I, also, people that work with me know that I hate, um, <laughs> I have a little bit of hatred for, for eaches. And this has historical reasons, because when you use a for each, in C Sharp, back then at least, it would actually allocate memory. It was super stupid. But it was this kind of habit that I just gained of not using for eaches. Even then, when I went to C++, I noticed that I a lot of times avoid them and there's a simple reason why which I'm going to show but so that you can see how you can iterate in a in, in an array like if you want to print it like we were talking before so you go again for it's the same name and then just go array and then you're going to go print uh, 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 uh. so let's just go print array for now just for the sake of argument. So for three times we did this. So why do I not like for each? Or let's put it this way. So, okay, cool, we have this, but we need, we need to know what is that value, right? The same way that the for each gives us that value. So if I go like, okay, the element, it all, 
you know of the array so now if I just go you know e and I get 10 20 30 why do I not use uh, four eaches is because a lot of times when I'm doing code I just realize half through doing something that oh shit I need the iterator I need to do something I need to offset to multiply something by the iterator I need to do something with it and then it annoys the hell out of me that I have to go back and rewrite the for header and then go and change everything and create that uh, you know temporary value variable and whatever but here you can go just simply and you just get the iterator and this is so useful I don't understand how this is how no other language has this and the funny thing is that you know you're like oh but I don't want to do this and whatever well if you just do this then automatically you get these guys you get IT and you get IT index how cool is that huh huh nobody's excited about this <laughs> This, this language is the language that is going to make me use for each. That's, that's the thing, that's the magic of this language. You know, I'm finally going to, to go through and, and switch to, to for each. It is amazing, and that's the thing. Like, I don't know when uh, can I talk this a lot with Oz about this kind of stuff. It's like when you look at how other languages are done, it kind of feels like it's done from a theoretical point of view. Like people that don't understand how things are used in real world, and that's why the stuff that he's doing is so well done. It's because he grabs all that information of, oh, this is not good, and he made it so that okay. Wouldn't it be great that you have this? And this is so good. At the moment, my biggest fear with this language is the bus factor. If that guy gets killed, <laughs> I think we're screwed. <laughs> but besides that, it's like the language is shipping up so well, so nice, so clean. It's 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 amazing. It's so refreshing to see something like this. So it's it's just oh, 